Brook gave a good good example of how he has been using his tool, this tool for you know for his field. But in addition to this, I think there is a lot of other uses which can this tool be used for. One, the this tool has been used in to in within the what we call national water quality initiative program of NRCS, where they have been implementing the you know conservation practices on selected water set and this water set the first table here you know on the extreme left on this slide shows the the some of the preliminary results we have got where people have been running water quality index on their ta target water sets with and without conservation practices the second thing this tool has also been incorporated into what they call field print or field to market calculator. Field to market is a non-profit which do, does ecological assessment of agricultural fields and their field to field print calculator is, has integrated water quality index into their program to give a ranking for the water quality from their target field areas. And the third thing which I see here on the, which you see on the right hand corner is I feel that this tool could also work a good tool for defining the baseline criteria for water quality trading. You know, uh, this water quality trading is becoming very popular all over the country and different agencies, different outfits are using different criteria for evaluating the eligibility of producers to participate in the water quality trading. Then this tool could work as a very effective way to to sort of you know starting point to judging the starting point for the water quality to for the producer to participate in water quality trading. Your next slide. Okay, we got it. Got yeah. It. So you know, next slide. Water quality. You know, and the sort of concluding my remarks. You know, water quality. Index for agriculture is an index for quick assessment with least cost, which incorporates professional judgment and knowledge. You know, it's, there is no sort of a analytical model running in the background like Apex or anything. There, there is none of those. It's all subjective ranking of professional, what we call professional judgment. So we took different options and asked experts to rank those options in terms of their effects on water quality. It's a very low cost, high vigor, intensive, high intensity usage tool. Basically, you can use it quickly and get a first level of approximation, first level of assessment of the, your conservation practice or management practices you are doing on your field at the, in your, uh, for, with reference to water quality coming out of your field. It's a highly, I personally feel it's a pretty good good tool for especially when you don't have the tool, you know, resources to do actual water quality monitoring. So next, uh, just a quick overview of where we are heading because I was reading some of the comments people were putting on. Uh, are we there on the future plan? Yes. Yeah, so I think couple of things over last year and year or so we have sort of observed this we have not you know some of the components of this tool need to be re-engineered especially you know water and nutrient management and the tile drain system and we are working with the experts outside from our tech center to see how we can further improve this tool for water quality for further predicting its behavior. Second thing what we have been sort of thinking about is this tool is currently, it just gives you a water quality assessment for surface runoff at the edge of the field. So how to take this edge of the field surface runoff assessment and expand it to the whole farm criteria or, or something like that, we are working on that approach also and we'll see how we can sort of take this assessment from a field level to a farm level.
In addition, the National Idaho National Lab of Department of Energy has contacted us lately to see to use this tool to do a special assessment of you know using their GIS framework called LEAF, which is li li you know, landscape ecosystem assessment framework, which has a GIS framework, and you basically select your area of interest, and all other information can be assessed directly from wherever the data sources are. And obviously, you know, this was another question which I saw, have we been able to sort of, you know, calibrate this or check with the actual, you know, other models and other uh, real monitoring. I have been sort of working with, talking to Pioneer Farms and Discovery Farm folks, and also with our edge of the field monitoring, we will surely like to see this calibration or comparison done, whether this tool predicts in, at least in the same direction, like actually monitored for different fields, and in the, by different models, or actual monitoring in the field, 